guys, we're on to the base piece now. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm going to try to talk a little louder. i got fans running everywhere, but it's too damn hot to turn them off, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. I got me a, another piece of wood here of unknown origin. I just like the color of it. I uh, got me a piece of Chinese high-speed steel here, but it's good and sharp. Three-quarter inch diameter. Uh, I've already touched off, so I'm going to go ahead and feed up the table a little bit here. It'll take us about a 30 thousandths cut. Hopefully that'll square that end up. It's pretty gnarly. So I'm going to spin this about 2,500 or maybe 3,000 RPM, and we'll see what happens. before but this is a nice big flat area who don't like to use a great big face mill so we're going to show it again just for shits and giggles I got her fed down touched off in the middle I fed it down 10 thou we're going to spin it about 2,000 rpm see what happens quite cutting all the way across. Take another five. Yeah, that's close enough. This is the bottom side, so it's not the end of the world that it don't face off clean. in the underside of this thing to mount the weights for the base. They're uh, going to be a bunch of hockey shaped or hockey puck shaped pieces of steel to weight the base so the thing don't fall over while you're trying to pull a knife off the magnets. So uh, this is the most convenient sized end mill I've got to do this with. So what I'm going to do, it's not center cutting, but it's got enough of a back rake on the uh, inserts to get, I can make a circle. It's going to scribe me a line every time I touch it down. And that'll let me get in there and rough it out with something uh, a little bit, you know, more conducive to making chips. And then uh, come back and finish it to depth, or the diameter, I mean, with uh, this tool. And then I'll that'll drop my weights down in there. So I'll probably run this, uh, you know, 
know, super speed. So it looks like I'm super productive. But anyway, how, the way I'm going to set this up, I'm going to take it off there so you can see what I'm doing. I got me a stop set here, and I'm going to spindles unlock. I'm going to run down hard against the stop, and then I'm going to turn the spindle on. I'm going to feed up until it touches. Set my zero in the Z. There we go. Zero my DRO out. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up off of there. And I'm only going to go down about probably ten thousandths of an inch. All I'm looking to do is make a mark here so I can work inside the lines. And then, hopefully, and I got me a mark. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them. And uh, I'll slow the video down whenever I get Okay, so as you can see, I got my marks now, and I'm going to turn you off here and switch tools and clean my mess up a little bit and uh, figure out how I'm going to rough these down. So I'll bring you back whenever I got a plan. Okay, so keeping with the theme of the build here, I'm just going to keep this simple. I'm just going to stab that one inch end mill down in there and rough around without going outside the lines and uh, get that material hogged out of there, and I'll come back with the other one and finish them. So that's what I'm going to do, probably speed through most of this.
Okay, there we are, roughed in. I tell you what, hunching over like that's hard on a fat man. So, I'm going to go ahead and take you away and change out the tools and then we'll come back and plunge these all to depth and then we'll be finished with this backside.